thing. Yo, oh, there we go. We're we're live. What's up, guys? Peoples of the interwebs. Um, Hello, guys. Comic World here. Yeah, we're with uh, episode five, and we have a new member of Nerd Hype with us. That's right. I'm Ryan Von Stats from Nerd Hype, taking over for Danny Mac because he's currently being lame. I mean, he's at work. <laughs> Actually, weren't you? Were you in uh, the fourth one, our last time talk? Uh, I came in, like, at the very, very end. I think I just arrived for the uh, Aunt May discussion. Or Aunt, Aunt May, I should say. Yeah, Aunt May. That was funny. Yeah. So, um, I want to go ahead and start with the first topic, which was, uh, where was Comic Talk last week? Um, and it was, it disappeared, like, momentarily, because it just didn't work out for, um, for us to be able to do it, and... Um, I I couldn't do it because I was on vacation. I was on like a plane, and when I got when it was Wednesday, I uh, was kind of tired and jet lagged and family things, and that didn't work. And then um, Danny Mac couldn't do it because I think he was working. And then I just don't think we talked to you, Comic World. Or I think I did or yeah. something. I don't know. Um, yeah, you so, told me that. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't really work out, but fortunately we're here, and yeah, so. I thought that was going to take 10 minutes, but it didn't, <laughs> so we could use the rest of these, like, nine minutes to, if you have it, guys any have any announcements or anything, I know you, we usually do that at the end, but um, might be something we could get out of the way, because I'm sure these topics are going to take a lot longer. Well, the only thing I can think of for Nerd Hype is Danny Mag just released two excellent videos. One was uh, the first edition of Nerd, uh, Nerd Hype Reads, he did a dare, uh, Daredevil Really? My brain's not in it today. He uh, he did a Deadpool video, I believe, it was Shadowland. And then the one before that, I'm moderately sure he did the Ant-Man. No, he did Daredevil. Or... He did uh, his, uh, um, I don't mean to interrupt you, but he, he did Daredevil. I just I was just watching it earlier. It was, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Daredevil, yeah, it was Daredevil Daredevil. Shadowland, right, yeah. Yeah. Daredevil Shadowlands is part one, and then he did the Ant-Man review, and the No Man spoiler, or No Man. <laughs> no spoiler. <laughs> No main spoiler. And then there's going to be a couple more videos coming down the line here soon, so if you like Nerd Hype, just shimmy on over there and do your stuff. Yeah. I got an announcement for you that I'm sure you don't know, but Nerd Hype has shirts now. Oh, yes. Yes, we do. We yeah. do have shirts. They're on sale on, I think, well, T-Public. I'm going to buy one. Oh, you better buy one. I'm going to be very yeah. upset with you. I'm going to buy one. <laughs> well, then you have to buy my shirt when I put it out. See, the, the thing is, is your logo is so awesome and looks so professional that it works on a shirt. Mine's just a giant E, so I have to <laughs> well, figure out how to make an E look badass. If I could color the shirt to look dark, <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. You ever seen well, <laughs> eh, Mine's, yeah. So, um, I was thinking about Aragon. I don't know if you saw, there was this picture, it circulated around the internet a while back. Um, it had, what was it, the Superman logo? It had, because you know how at movies they'll have the the picture of the movies that are coming soon. It had the Superman S, and then it had uh, the Aragon E, and then it had the X-Men X, so it spelt out sex. Oh, nice. it, was the, it was really funny. And it was like, I think they got in heck of trouble, but like they didn't do it on purpose. Um, it was pretty funny. And yeah, so Comic World, I know you probably have some sort of announcement thing. Yeah, um, we finally reached 100 subscribers on my channel, so I'm, I just want to say thank you guys for... Uh, for um, staying with me and subscribing, commenting, and liking on my videos. Every bit helps, you know? Yep. We're approaching 100. We're at uh, 90. I'm approaching 25. Oh, nice. <laughs> I think I found a common link between you guys all having, like, 30-ish subscribers and then getting featured on Comic... Uh, what is it? Comics Explains channel for... T co what is it? Comics and Coffee... Getting yeah. featured as the channel and then jumping up to like 90. Yeah. See, I didn't do that. And I talked about this, I think it was last week or whatever. He said he was going to like email me, but he never did. So I was like, damn, that sucks. And he, he did it. He did his last. What? We, uh, we didn't even like talk to him at all. He just. I think he just. Yeah, posts, I didn't uh, talk to him. Either. Danny just posts a lot in the forums or whatever. I did, though. I talked to him on, on a stream. And then he never, he never got back to me. And then when I uh, think another stream. I, I said something about it, and people just started getting mad at me, and I was like, well, that's dumb. And I think he even read it and kind of, like, 
didn't say anything about it. Um, I heard him start to read it or something, and then he like stopped. So I don't know what that was about, but in, but I'm I'm over it. So I'm just gonna have to grow my own. Twenty three subscribers. It. Yeah, I know. I built my other channel up from zero to two hundred and sixty <laughs> right now. Man, I'm which dying over here. <sighs> my announcement is that I restarted my old channel. So I have two channels um, I'm doing right now. Congratulations. Like shit. It's a pain in the ass, but it's worth it. Cause you know I didn't want to just abandon. 260 people that watch my videos. I have like 30,000 views on that channel. Nice. So, yeah, I just hit five. Oh, I also, I just hit 500 views on this channel. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And so, I'll have like, I'll have like 2,000 something already. It's crazy. I, last time I seen it, we were at like 2,300. I yeah. can actually check both your things. Let me see. Let's see, Comic World it sounded really bad. Sound really bad. All right, all right. Comic World has six thousand. Oh wow. Nerd Hype has uh, two point three thousand. Nice. Yes, sir. All righty, Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Um. All right. So I think that got out of the way for you know intros and. Where we've been and stuff, um, we can go ahead and jump into the first real topic, which is the new spider suit's been revealed. It looks pretty much exactly the same as the other ones, just the spider yeah, looks kind of different. It doesn't look that much different from the previous spider suits. I think I have to make sure, but his posture, you know, looks a little bit different because in other movie like covers and stuff, we don't really see him doing the the web, you know, where he actually, how he shoots his webs, um, it's like the rock on kind of looking sign. Yeah. It's not a lot except for the original Spider-Man, but this one we can actually see him doing it. Yeah. It's cool, because the other ones, do we know if they're doing the, um, the, what is it? Because I know, hold on, let me, somebody, somebody else say something, so <laughs> I don't take up the conversation with my ums. Here, personally, I was hoping we'd get the uh, Iron Spider, but that's probably too much or, too much to ask for. Oh, yeah. people were thinking the uh, Yellow Jacket suit was going to become... was going to be repurposed, which I think what they could have done is had... Cause, oh, I, no, that's a spoiler. Um, Quite honestly, I was thinking they were going to mention at least Stark Enterprises during all that. Especially since, you, would think, you know... They show that one thing at that one place. Boy, you're being real specific. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> he has no. Not everybody has seen it, so I don't want to say it. In Ant Man, when they had a, uh, had that one place where that one fight occurred. Oh yeah, that. Yeah. So I was thinking maybe there they could be like learn from his armor or something and. You know, make an iron spider suit, but it's still it's still up up in the air. And black, they were saying early on that wasn't Black Panther going to be kind of like the Spider Man in Civil War. So yeah. with Spider Man, are they going to switch that out, or how are they? How do you think they're going to do that? Is he just going to be a different character? Because now that they, because I think they were doing that because they didn't have the the rights to Spider Man at the time, and they wanted to make sure that they had a character for that. But now that they have him, um, and it. You know, it's a little bit into production, so um, I'm sure that they're gonna probably can't write Black Panther out and Spider-Man in to that role. Well, maybe not, but they could do it in a because if you remember right in the credit, the after credit scene, or no, 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 not in the after credit scene, the where the Stan Lee cameo was yep. when they were mentioning everybody they had. They mentioned they have one that swings. So uh, yeah, like a so, wall crawler or something. I, yeah, it's gonna. I think it's gonna be something to where it was. They, he's been with the Avengers before, or he was at the Avengers, um, that compound they have in upstate New York. Yeah, well, you know, they did. They did say um, that he was supposed to report to set for filming. So, then that means that he's gonna have. You know, it could be. Oh, that's another spoiler. Dang it! I wish I could reference Ant Man, um, but uh. He could... Take your headphones off. 
right. Well, I'm just worried about everybody else who hasn't seen it. Um, the the one character that they briefly showed in a story told by Hank Pym, um, that it's not too big. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, no. Message me on Skype about it. The, the. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, um, they could mention him in briefly. Um, Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, they That can... is really... You're saying him for that? Seriously? Well, no, I'm just... I'm saying <laughs> since it, that was kind of like a... Um, a short scene of the film, they could somewhat include Spider-Man into a um, shorter film instead of being, like, super important. Because they, they really have the Spider-Man role filled, so I'm not sure what they could do with him. But I, you know, before this, I asked you guys, I just learned that they are, they threw in a Spider-Man movie, which extends Phase 3. Yes, it does. It comes between, I think, Guardians 2, Guardians and, 2 and Thor. Thor. Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Yeah. yeah. Which is pretty cool. Because... Well, no, in a way it sucks, because Thor... Uh, Thor gets pushed, pushed back. back. Does everything get pushed back? Yep. Yeah, Avengers think... Infinity War gets pushed back? So when no, does all that no, come out? No, no, no. Um, the Avengers, I'm pretty sure, is on its uh, original yeah. date. It's just, so, I think, uh, Doctor Strange gets pushed back. Wait, why? Or Captain Mar- uh, because filming. Doctor Strange well, is before it, though. Is it? Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, Civil War, Doctor Strange, Guardians 2, then Spider-Man, then Thor, then Avengers Infinity War 1, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Avengers 2, um, and Infinity War 2, and then Inhumans. So I mean Inhumans is going to be like 2022, because I'm not about to be talking about this when I'm this young and then when I'm 22 years old be watching a movie here. Um, it's still see. a long Phase time away. Is... Oh, okay. Doctor Strange comes out almost directly after Civil War. Okay, I got my... Wait, they come out in the same year? Yeah. Oh. Uh, see, that's kind of cool. comes out on November 4th, 2016. So, have we seen movies like this before where they come out... Oh, well, I guess Ant-Man and Age of Ultron, but a lot of movies where they come out the same year? Um, I think... Because uh, I don't know. Well, because it doesn't... Know. It, it, feels know. Like, it feels like they do them um, pretty... Well, didn't... Uh, did Winter Soldier and Guardians come out in the same year? For, 2014? No, but I'm going to look at this. Just well, uh, uh, I know... I know... Um, Guardians came out last year, right? Yeah. 2014. And Winter Soldier, I'm pretty sure, came out last year. Yeah, the, 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 the Winter Soldier and Guardians of the Galaxy released in the same year. So did yeah, Iron so, Man 3 and Thor Dark World. Yeah, so I'm not... And I'm, Iron Man and Incredible Hulk. <laughs> yeah, so it is. It's a reoccurring thing. So that means Iron Man 2 and Thor probably and Captain America and Avengers maybe. I don't know. But it just it just feels like they don't release two movies in the same year. But I guess they do. It seems. It also seems like we're getting back to the upcoming. Looks like we're getting Guardians, Spider-Man, and Thor in 2017. Three in one year. Avengers, yeah. Black Panther, and Marvel in 2018. Three? And Avengers and Inhumans in 2019. Well, we talked about where they're gonna go for Phase Four, and <laughs> they. They, we were saying how if, um, you know, they include new characters, they'll be able to do a lot more. So now they have Spider-Man, so they can do. Of course, we still have to, you know, count for the rights and stuff. But they could do Spider-Man storylines potentially, and we're not even I'm still... including the uh, the Netflix universes or the um, Age of Shield. I think that's yeah. something that stuff we talked kind of about cool. last week um, or two weeks ago when they were saying that they're going to collide eventually. So. Um, That'd be pretty well, interesting. That, that I think is the Infinity Wars. Yeah. Where that yeah. Ahead. Such a big event. Everything's gonna have to, um, to called connect. Yeah, and so they could. Uh, I still want them to do a World War Hulk movie. They won't. <laughs> they won't. Yeah. We we should like make it impossible for them to like do movies and run out of ideas. So that way they'll be forced to do a World War Hulk movie. <laughs> well, you, well, you, you got to talk to Universal about that one because Marvel. I will email them right now. now. <laughs> I'm sure you will. No, <laughs> but because they could, they could, you know, that that was a that was an event that could 
span two movies. You know, we had Avengers. That was Age of well, Avengers was kind of a big thing because it introduced a team. It wasn't an event. Age of Ultron was an event. Uh, Infinity War is going to be an event. So we see kind of a theme of at least one event per phase, um, except for phase one because they were testing the waters. Um, but phase two has an event. Phase three has an event. So that means phase four could have. Uh, um, World War Hulk as an event. Well, quite frankly, Thor two was kind of a big event because that because that did have some world. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> that pretty much took pretty much all of Washington, <laughs> and then yeah. the Winter Soldier was a big event because it had to deal with Hydra. And... Yeah, but I mean more so like uh, story kind of comic based events. Like Age of Ultron was an oh. event. I mean more like. How you would have like House of M or like, uh, you know, Infinity. Uh, what well, I was gonna say, Infinity Quest, the, the Infinity um, Gauntlet, Infinity War. Wars, yeah. yeah, you know, different things like that. World War Hulk, <laughs> that was something. So it could definitely include more events because those are fun. They introduce new characters and make mm-hmm. everyone happy. So, True. So. Yeah. Right, are we so, ready for the next topic? I think so. Anyone have any other things they want to want to say? No. No. Nope. All right. All right. So, so one's something that you guys are probably gonna have to look up on your own, um, people watching. But uh, Superman, or rather, Super Boot, <laughs> was snuck into uh, one of Marvel's covers, oh, and yeah. this is something that took me the longest time to figure out. Until I scrolled down and was like, oh, there, there's the original picture. Um, they, I thought there was going to be, like, Superman just chilling there. No, so Superman, basically what they did was, um, the, for what was it, Spider-Man vs. Superman, the original cover, um, they kind of put a snippet of the cover into um, a recreated, you know, piece into the into one of the corners of Secret Wars cover, what was it, number eight? And so... If you look really closely, it's kind of faded into the background, but Superman's boot is, uh, and it's really clearly obvious if you look at the image that's below it, um, but his boots just kind of chill on there, so it's a little reference to, uh, Superman being in Marvel at one point. Not being in Marvel, but colliding with Marvel, I guess, is better. Right, we got it. (laughs) Yeah. So... (laughs) It's definitely a pretty cool thing that they did include that, because not many people really know about the amazing or the battle of the century Superman versus Amazing Spider-Man that would get came out in I think what seventy sometime. Uh. Yeah, seventy. Yeah. And then and then for them to include just the image of Spider-Man in that traditional pose with the um, I think it's a tower or some some type of yeah. Some type of radio tower it looks like behind him, and then you just see Superman's little teensy teensy foot. Is it the Empire State Building? It, lo- it kind of looks like it. Uh, probably it is New York. So. Yeah, it looks kind of like New York esque. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's it's definitely cool for them to do. It's it's just a little cameo. I don't think it really means anything because I mean, of course, yeah. It was I mean, said to be like homage. Now, if Superman appears in Secret Wars, I think we're all gonna have a hernia. <laughs> But that's a side. <laughs> yeah. I would probably die. I've only read Secret Wars number one. Oh I've, my read, God. I've read Secret Wars one and two, and i got to download three and four here. Is it uh, it's on, it's on the Marvel later. Comics app, right? Because I got Marvel Unlimited, and it wasn't on there. Uh, Let me see. Where's my app? I don't remember. No, Mar- Marvel Unlimited is, like, is not for like really new comics that come out. You have to wait like a month or two to they yeah, come out on Marvel. The uh, Marvel Comics app has it. Yeah, because I got Marvel Unlimited just to check out some of the old ones. The, they have the original Marvel comics on there, like the very first, with uh, Human Torch and um, was it Namor, Samariner, um, which is really cool because it's the first one. So, yeah. And then they have some of the really oldies, like the first Avengers. It's pretty cool. It's unfortunately, if you didn't get it, I know I think we talked about this. We talked about this a while ago, but two, I got it the day before, just so I could wait till the last second. Um, but uh, 
it was a penny for oh, that's true. a month. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. Which, if you didn't get it, that really sucks because it's pretty cool. It has a lot of comics, ones that I haven't even read. So. You should read them more. <laughs> I, I, I don't even go there. <laughs> no excuses. I have read a lot of comics in my my time. Um, yeah. Actually, I have too many comics to find a place for them, so they kind of just sit in the corner of my room. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much my way with books. I've got a whole bookshelf over there that's completely filled up, and then I get more, and it's like, oh. You just turned around to look at your bookshelf, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah, because <laughs> I heard your voice start to show off. I was like, <laughs> I did that too. <laughs> I just turned around to look at my thing so I could describe it. <laughs> you don't know my my things. Yeah, I have like a couple hundred comics, maybe, maybe, I don't know. No. I've got like 150 books. I have like maybe 200 comics, maybe? I don't know. Those are just the ones that I have up here. Not including my digital collection, and I have a lot of comics. <laughs> Which is cool. It is, so, um, what do you think about the whole cameo thing there? Me? No. Comic, comic world? world? Yes. I don't know. I uh, it's cool, I guess. I don't, I really don't know. <laughs> I I can barely see the boot when I saw the picture. Yeah, it took me it's a like long time. Barely. It's barely there. I mean, it's you have to look at the the picture, and if you look right by his uh his, his right leg, you'll see a faded. Yeah. Basically, just you won't even really see the outline of a boot, more as you'll see um, a right. color change. Yep. So, yeah. It's, it's really it's, subtle. Yeah, it's vague. I mean, but once you see it, you can't unsee it. Like it's yeah. one of those things where you can't imagine it differently. Like if you see a picture one way, you're not going to be able to see it another way. Um, yeah. So once you look at the big pictures, you'll definitely be able to see it. So I really wonder who won that battle, Superman or Spider-Man. Um, <laughs> well, that would be a good movie. <laughs> I don't know. Superman, Superman seems to be beaten a lot just because it. He's excuse me. He's, excuse me. Have you not seen Goku versus Superman? Come on up. <laughs> I uh, not a fan. There's a lot of people who are very upset about that, but that's not. No, I'm more so not a fan of uh, what is it? Um, Dragon Ball Z. He's, he's from Dragon Ball Z, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, more so I just don't watch it. So it's one of those things where you don't watch it, so you're just not a fan. I don't hate it. Just not a. fan. Fan? You horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my friend was like, dude, you gotta watch it. It's free right now. Like, when it was free on Xbox or something. It's like, it's free right now. You should watch it. I got better things to do than watch that. Shun the non-believer. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I've been playing Fallout so much that I keep getting shunned by people. And it just keeps reminding me of that. I'm going into gaming right now. It's my other channel. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so, yeah, if he is in Secret Wars number eight, which I very highly doubt it, I would be like, whoa, that's crazy. That would be I my reaction. Be I'd, get, I'd get the comic, I'd look in it at the store, and I'd be like, whoa, that's crazy. Yeah. I, I sincerely highly doubt it would, because, I mean, it would be the greatest thing ever, but I highly doubt it would happen. Yeah. <laughs> There would you're, be a lot of there. Uh, pe people would not be happy with that. Me especially because I. You're I'm a. Uh, <laughs> you're a DC fan more than a Marvel fan. Me? No, I'm. I'm more DC. Or damn, I just screwed myself. I'm more Marvel. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm trying to get into uh, DC a little bit. Not really get into it, but you know, know a little bit. So um, the movies can be a little bit more enjoyable, and I can um, know a little bit of the, the lore because I have a couple characters that I like in there, like Green Lantern. Uh, you know, Flash. So there's a couple characters that I like. Um, I know those are super stereotypical characters, but still, I have like uh, all the Green Lantern rings hung up on my wall. Nice. Yeah, I have what is it? Black, white, red, orange, yellow, purple, indigo. Or I'm sorry, what is it? Uh, sapphire or something? Um, not even purple. Indigo. What's your favorite blue. ring? Oh God, probably. <laughs> Usage-wise, uh, 
That's a hard one. Well, I know the, probably the white ring because it, you know, has most of the powers in it. But looks wise, and probably the black ring because it's just so ring. cool. Yeah, I have the black ring. That's the one I wore most. So. Well, while we're on this subject, let's go to DC Marvel or DC movies versus Marvel movies. Yeah, we can do that. Um, Marvel wins, hands down. DC can't hold a candle. Uh, Boom! <laughs> dropping the mic. I hate to have to do this, but I've watched the Suicide Squal- Su- Squaler trailer. Suicide Squid. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking squid. Suicide Squad. Um, Suicide Squad trailer probably like uh. <laughs> Um, at least 30, 40 times. So, uh... Hey, give me one second. Somebody's calling me. Continue on with this topic. Let me uh, mute my mic real quick. I gotta let him know I'm busy. Alright. Yeah, uh, I think Suicide Squad really didn't sell me. It, it's... It's alright. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be that great. I'm just hoping for a better trailer to see what the what the main plot is gonna be. Yeah, most especially. The one thing I don't like about it, it seems like it's going to be all characters that we've really never been introduced to before. Yeah. It, it, I don't I don't think it'll do too well. I really don't. I, I mean, mean... Go ahead. Uh, Marvel's, like, owning it with the movies right now. The only, I mean, the only thing DC's good at doing is maybe animated movies. And even that, they're not, it's, they're not that great. Yeah, the worst thing they've done in a at least an animated for the longest time has been Teen Titans Go. I don't know if you've caught it, but it yeah. is uh, the first Teen Titans animated for Cartoon Network. That was a really good show. I really enjoyed yeah. It. I remember watching that all the time, but now they have like Teen Titans or whatever, and I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't like what they've done. Like the art style, the first art style was really nice, and then yeah. they bumped it down to this I don't know chibi kind of deal got going. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's it's whatever. It is what yeah. it is. Now, there is one thing I can say. They will have a shot, at least to grab a hold of the Marble Throne with Batman versus Superman. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not particularly looking forward to it, because I think it's going to have that Man of Steel syndrome where it's way too serious with itself. Yeah. But... It's... What can you say? It, there's, there's no doubt about it. It'll be a good movie, but I don't know if it's, it's going to be, be enough to Batman vs. Superman. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, more, I'm almost more hyped for Suicide Squad than I am for uh, Batman vs. Superman. I'm actually yeah. more hyped for... I think I'll, I'll like the Marvel comics and, and movies more, but I'm more hyped for the trailers. So I think they know how to build hype. Well, yeah, but they're... Mostly using Harley Quinn as their selling point. Yeah, and oh, maybe the Joker yeah. too. Exactly, they know how to use hype. <laughs> I like Jared Leto as an actor too. That's one of the things that draws me towards, uh, um, you know, Joker and him playing Joker. Because I thought he was dumb at first, and it's one of those things where what is it? People say, um, uh, picture says a thousand words, and a video says a thousand pictures. So him in action, he looks a lot better. Than he does, you know, in a picture because he looked really stupid. I saw one interesting theory, and that was that he could actually be Joker Jr. <laughs> I highly and, doubt it. Well, just because for the reason that um, we saw was a Jason Todd's uh, his suit, and he looks more of like a younger looking Joker. So I just I could link you guys the article, but uh, it was it was just how he could have been he because he was in what was it he was tricked into, uh, or more persuaded into killing Joker, so this could be where, instead of joining back with Batman, he, like, got mad, and that he killed his master, and got tattoos, and grew up more, and, you know, became Joker Jr., more or less, and then the full Joker grew out of his junior state. (laughs) So, I highly doubt it, but... Yeah, I highly doubt it, but... Yeah, I mean, the, the one theory I did see is because of the mark under the Joker's eye. One theory I've seen is that it's um, Jason Todd. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Did, yeah, because I guess to get a mark under his eye. Hmm. And... I, I just said that. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah, Jason Todd. Oh. That's who I was talking about. Oh. But yeah. Jason that's... Todd becomes Joker Jr. Oh. Well, he I don't oh. think he does in the comics, but I'm saying in this, um, or he might, I think... He might in the comics. I don't know. Um, no, he gets killed in the comics. He gets beat to death. 
Yeah, he, I know, he but broke. he didn't get killed. Any... He, I know he did, but he didn't get killed in the movie. So, um, oh. unless he does in does in this movie, but he could be. Um, in they could have because he does get killed in the comics, so it could be um, he got instead of being killed, taken out of um, the Robin position and put into the Joker Jr. position, like how because you know Joker obviously can do some crazy mind tricks. We see that with Harley, so... Um, Alright, uh, that's could, what I'm doing, but I will be right back. Alright. All right. Um, we could see we could see him do something like that and uh, convert Jason Todd into Joker Jr., which would be yeah. interesting. interesting. Doubt yeah, it's going to happen, but <laughs> yeah. it would be cool. Because we did see uh, it was in the Batman v Superman trailer, uh, trailer his, suit. Yeah. his suit, yeah, and he was, um, it was like spray painted on and it said, ha ha, joke's on you. I yeah. Think. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, that's, well, I'm pretty sure that's what it said. So, one thing that I didn't like about that Batman vs. Superman trailer is they showed Wonder Woman, but they didn't show Aquaman, and they had the perfect opportunity to, because they had, like, that underwater, they had the most random underwater scene ever. Yeah. Like, unless I missed something in that, like, brief, like, one second scene where there's just a scuba diver, I guess that's their way of being like, yeah, water. Action. <laughs> Wait, is but, Aquaman going to be in the movie? Was he confirmed? Yeah. He was oh, one of the no. first characters we saw. Uh, um, it's uh, Jason Momoa. Yeah, I, he's, I, I uh, didn't know. He's, uh, have you seen Game of Thrones? Yeah, yeah, I, I know who he is. Yeah. I've seen the pictures. Yeah, it was, uh, what was it, Unite the Seven? Unite the Seven, yeah. I guess now Unite the, since they have Wonder Woman, Batman, yeah. Superman, Unite, what is it, two, four. Five. Yeah, no, not even, because they have... Four members of the Justice League now. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Unite yeah. the... Four? That's another interesting thing, too. If, um... Leaning towards... Because everybody wants them to, like, battle and one person to be defeated. So, if there's going to be a Justice League movie, um... You can't have the Justice League without one... Either Batman or Superman. I mean, they're kind yeah. of <laughs> figureheads for it. So... That would be kind of an interesting thing... Because I haven't actually seen a lot of people think about this, and I didn't even think about this until just now. Yeah, there's going to be a Justice League movie, and they're very important parts, so that would be pretty awkward if uh, they were, like, defeated each other, and then they just come back and are like, hey, we're teammates now. So. Yeah, that'd be dumb. Yeah, I think what's going to happen is, okay, so Batman and Superman are going to be fighting, right? They're going to be, be causing all this destruction, and I think it might we might have, like, a, a smaller version of, uh, what's his name, Doomsday? Because we see Wonder Woman fighting something, she gets like, like uh, punched all the way back, right? And She's pretty I think, strong, yeah. Yeah. So, I think it's like Wonder Woman's gonna be the one to stop and be like, "Hey guys, like, can you guys stop fighting? Let's fight the real bad guys over there." Or, yeah, they could have something like that. Or, uh, what is it? Uh, Lex Luthor could get his giant suit and then start wreaking mm -hmm. havoc. Or, cause I think what was it? I think it was in the Justice League animated series that um, we had Shazam like doing good for Lex Luthor at one point. I forget. I remember just coming across this on the internet and there was a uh, Lex Luthor was like acting all nice but secretly he was like planting bombs under the city and he was like, you know, so that could be something we could see. He's like planting bombs and stuff and it'd be interesting to see what causes do like I don't know if we know his obsession for what what caused his obsession in this movie for uh, Superman. Yeah. Because I know there's different versions of it where he grew up with Superman. Um, hmm. and then there's ones where he uh, got like something hap Superman caused something bad to happen to him. And so whatever it is, I hope his hair goes bald. <laughs> Cause what yeah. was that picture? It has to, cause they show this. They put, like showed us this picture with him bald, and now he's not bald. Yeah, he in has the trailer. That majestic hair. Nah, now he has like flowing voluptuous hair. <laughs> so yeah. we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm not sure how long he shall be gone for, so I don't want to. I don't want to move into the face to his over part just yet because I want to see if he has anything else to say about this. So, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. 
Perfect timing. Do you have anything else to say about this? We were just discussing how, uh, what were we discussing? There's, oh yeah, there's going to be a Justice League movie. Um, I was saying, because I haven't really seen anybody talk about this, if there's going to be a Justice League movie, um, Batman and Superman are kind of figureheads for the Justice League, so they have to resolve conflict in some point in the movie. Um, otherwise, they're, one of them will be defeated, and then in Justice League, they'll be like, hey, we defeated each other, and now we're friends. If I, if I remember right, I think, um, I want to say death, or not Deathstroke, oh my god, my brain, um, I think Apocalypse, or, uh, oh my Doomsday. god. Doomsday. Doomsday, yes, we were, thank you. Yeah, that's what I mentioned. Like, yeah, Doomsday that's what he was talking about. Doomsday. Oh, okay. Well, and it's also not just, um, and Batman like and Superman, we're going to get Wonder Woman, and supposedly the Flash in, this, in the movie. So. We get Aquaman oh, too. Did, do we get Aquaman? Do we? Why does nobody know about that? Yeah, Jason Momoa, Aquaman. I don't he's, like Aquaman. He's all pissed off because um in the first one in Man of Steel when uh the the world generator thing was plowing to the Pacific Ocean, it destroyed Atlantis. It destroyed part of Atlantis, and so he's all pissed off and he comes up like swimming out of the sea like, hey, what you guys doing up here? Chill out. And I think there was a leak scene. I didn't manage to find it anywhere. Find it anywhere where Flash. I think it's brief, but Flash is featured in an Easter egg, and Aquaman's like a character. Uh, he's like impo- he has a thing where he actually like has relevance to the plot, I think. And then Flash is just on like some one of Batman's monitors, like because they're trying to you know collect om- almost how like with, with Avengers they had the characters like soul movies and then lead lead up to um, them being together. So they're they're kind of having. Um, because the picture that we first got of Aquaman was it said Unite the Seven. Um, I think it was either that or Six. But now they're going to introduce you know Batman again and um, Superman. And we have – well, we already have Superman. So um, now all we need is uh, Flash. We have – what is it? Green Lantern. Uh, Green Lantern and who else? Cyborg, I think. Cyborg I think, is Cyborg? I think is Cyborg in the Justice League? Um, I know not, he's not a stereotypical just, uh, Justice yeah, League. Yeah, I know he's in one version of it. Um, Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter. Oh, yeah. That's, that's yeah. Good. And well, uh, actually, Hawk Lady. I don't remember her name. Hawk Lady? Uh, the Lady with Wings? Oh, 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 I know who you're talking about. Um, I cannot remember her name. I don't either. What's I have her name? I no clue. I know. I'm looking at a picture of her right now. What's her name? I think I I don't know. Um. Uh, let me let me see. This. <laughs> what is it? Um. I honestly don't know. Hawk I can't girl. Remember. No, it's nothing like that. Hawk girl. I think that's what it is. Hawk girl. Let's see. Justice League TV series Wikipedia article. Let's see. Hawk girl. Oh, it is Hawk girl. Wow. Yeah. It's Hot Girl. That is a very stupid name. I was gonna say that, but I didn't want to say that because it sounded stupid. But uh, you know, yeah. So I guess we have a few of the seven united. <laughs> yeah. What if what if they have the uh the instead of having Hal Jordan, what if they have um uh what's it, the black super I mean Green Lantern. That is racist. He's uh John Stewart. <laughs> He, oh, all right. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Get off my dick. So, wow. yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. That'll that'll be that'll be cool if they if they do have him. See, see yeah, this. That would be cool. This picture I just saw shows a black one. So I don't know. Um, it'll be cool because we'll have we already in the picture it said United Seven and we have like most of the seven. I'm not gonna math right now. <laughs> not gonna math. You not sir are gonna great. math. You are very good at this. Yeah. Um. So, cause you know, I'm not totally into the Justice League. I'm only interested in the Suicide Squad, and then I'll probably go back to being a super Marvel nerd. Right now, I'm like a semi super Marvel nerd, and I'm like that movie's got me interested enough to probably watch another 15 times before I'm like, I think we're nearing the end of my watching cycle. Mm-hmm. About 30 times after that will be done. So, 45 times till I'm done. But, yeah. So, if we want to move 
onwards to victory <laughs> to the next topic. Phase two is oh over. Yeah, it's quite Phase exciting. It is over. Is it is over? It is. If you didn't know, phase two ended <laughs> like over. a couple days ago. So we should have had like a countdown timer and had a live stream to like five, <laughs> four, three, two. Phase two's over. <laughs> that would have been now pretty the funny. journey to phase three. Yeah, bad now, and you should feel bad. More so that you're actually no more so the journey to phase four because we're in phase three. So oh, journey to phase true. four. Yeah, okay. You can go ahead and do a live stream for the next three years. Until the <laughs> humans end. It's like one million two hundred seventy-three thousand. Yeah, you you go ahead and do that, dude. In humans, <laughs> you. in humans is only five years away. It's a long time from now. I'm gonna be graduating. I'm gonna no, be no, gra no. no, I'm already gonna be graduated when then we. Yeah, I'll be twenty years old by then. Yeah. I feel old. Yeah. That's a I'll long. Be, I'll be graduating when Infinity War two. One, I think. I'll be like twenty five when that comes out. Yeah, whatever comes out <laughs> in twenty eighteen. Oh, how, how old are you? I'm twenty. Twenty. Damn. I'm about to be 15. That's right, you're 14. Children. Yeah. Children, children. If I say I'm about to be 15, it makes me sound I've learned older than 14. You know, people think about it, they're like, wait, what? Yeah, just think about it for a second. You'll get it. Yeah. I'm about to be 16, like, in less than a month, I think. God, I'm around a bunch of children. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Respect you. your older, Jacques Vaughn. <laughs> only by a couple years. Yeah, let's see. And keep in mind, four years. We, we know, we know things that you know about things. <laughs> okay. That, that made a lot of sense. <laughs> so we I just know things. I just saw this picture, um, which right, is interesting. <laughs> Shut up. This picture of um, they have the DC and Marvel. Um, I know we backed up this DC and Marvel lineup in one picture, and uh, uh, Justice League comes out in 2017. Yeah. Which is weird because the Batman v Superman movie comes out in 2016, and they're rushing it to try to keep up with. They're Marvel. rushing it because yeah, rushing it. it's not till 2018 that Aquaman. Or um, I'm sorry, Flash is introduced, and it's not till 2020 that Cyborg and Green Lantern are introduced, and the part two is in 2019. So they're introducing character. I guess it could be kind of like a Spider-Man situation where they're introducing characters before their actual standalone movies. But I would like to have a standalone movie before I see these characters, you know, all combined. So basically, you're complaining about Marvel Civil War. <laughs> no, I'm complaining about Justice League. I know, I'm being sarcastic. Cause, uh, but that is what they're doing with Civil War. That is, with, yeah. With, like, well, Black Panther. Black Panther and Spider-Man, I think, are the only ones who haven't had been introduced before. Yeah, yeah. Well, but... We already know Spider-Man. Well, and coming... Wasp, I think. Wasp is supposed to be in it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wasp is, like, already introduced? I'm meaning fully introduced you, Tosspot. <laughs> well, well, well. According to um, the end credit scenes, I want to. I'll just do a spoiler alert. Spoiler alert! Take care, um, Hope, what the hell is Hope's that? gonna be uh, Wasp. So we have already kind of seen her. We had not seen her as Wasp, though. We haven't seen her thing. as Wasp. We've seen her say it's about damn time, because it is about damn time that we have more female superheroes. Because you know. I want to see. I want to see. I don't know. I don't know why. I want to see the uh, the big scandal with uh, uh, Iron Man and uh, Black Widow's sex tape. That was really funny. Okay. Everybody's just sitting around in a room, and then it just starts playing. Uh. <laughs> that was really. That was pretty funny. So, and I think that was during. No, I forget what it was during, but I know it was funny. I want to see Superior Iron Man in a movie. Ooh. It might, uh, his suit's just awesome. It's like his suit is awesome. It's pretty cool. It was like uh, he used the symbiote as uh, 
I don't think he used symbiote, but he used like the way it forms onto your skin as yeah. the base. I don't know. So it was pretty, pretty cool. cool. It was pretty cool. I think to be honest, that was like the first real comic I physically no. No. What no. Was it? I think it might have been one of the first comics I physically bought myself. The other ones I were, you know, handed down. Um, my older ones. Because I have some old comics. I have some, like, 1970s comics. Um, I think I have one of the... I have a really old X-Men. Really old. It'd be funny to, like, be digging through my box and find the original Marvel comics. I would probably, like, you know, poop myself. Because... <laughs> would probably be worth a lot of money. <laughs> probably. So, back to the topic at hand with Phase 2 being over. I know we talked about where they're going to go from here um, with Phase 4 um, in previous comic talks and um, a little bit in this video. Um, I guess Bigger they're just... Bigger and better things. What? Bigger and better things. That's exactly yeah. where we're going. Um, <laughs> I guess I they if they want to they'll just throw movies in Ooh, like Spider Man they just threw that in so um, I guess whenever they feel fit if they want to they'll just throw a movie in so I guess if if uh, any other movies if Spider Man happens to fall and break his legs and arms we might have to <laughs> be a more Hulk movie instead just saying. Just, you know. Spider-Man, brilliant. <laughs> that would be... I mean, I don't want to see morbid and, like, messed up, but that would just be funny to see, like, a full-body cast Spider-Man with just his mask, and it's, like, painted on. <laughs> He's just, just, like, in a spread-eagle formation the whole time, just shooting That's webs out. Like something Deadpool would do to Spider-Man. <laughs> it does. No, you know what? Deadpool loves Spider-Man. Deadpool does like Spider-Man. There is actually a pretty interesting fact about Deadpool. I don't know if you guys know it, but, um... When he when he was growing up, he respect or he loved Captain America. So when he so when he got older and he actually met Captain America, he was Captain or Steve Rogers was the only one who did not treat him like a monster. He treated him with empathy and respect. So that's why there's so much. That's that's pretty much why he never really talks bad about uh, Cap because he's got oh. a lot of respect for him. Interesting. Interesting. FF, fun fact. Fun fact. Did I? Oh, okay, okay. My my brain just escaped me for a second. I saw this like wall cover. It had um, it said, um, X Men First Class Number Eight cover, Cyclops, Marvel Girl, and Angel. And I thought it was Cyborg instead of Cyclops. I don't know why. So I just got kind of mad for a second. I was like, did they did they like mess up that bad? Because <laughs> I. <laughs> Would have cried. Hey, you did the same thing. You got super confused earlier, saying like, "What do you know?" I know a lot. Or, I know not. everything. Don't know you don't know anything. <laughs> I know everything. Anyway, shall we move on? Yeah. Shall, well, if we move on, we're gonna be over. So, um, is, there, is there really much we can say about Phase Three being over or Phase Two being over? Phase Seven. Let's build hype for Phase Seven. Phase Seven, yay! Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. It, 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 Secret it, Wars, come to Phase 7. No, no, no. Phase 7, we'll, we'll start with Captain America and the Knitting Club. Okay? <laughs> the Knitting Club. Chris Evans will be so old by then. I mean, That's true. Well, he's Chris Evans hopefully dies in the next movie, so could, which would make sense. Don't so. even go there, you little person. He needs to die. He needs to just go. Plus, he said he's going to end his career, his acting career pretty soon. And this, and he already his contract with Marvel is expiring, so... Yeah. He needed to die. He needed to die. What I'm if... Alright, so you guys saw the I'm Comic-Con. Here. What? I will hurt you. At some point. Do it. I so, will, do too. I have friends in California. Alright. Just do it! Right. Just yeah. do it. <laughs> so, did you see the part where in the Comic-Con trailer, um, it was like, I don't know what it was, the, one of the Comic-Con trailers, it was really short and we talked about it briefly. Um, I think it was on the first comic talk. Um, it had Captain America and Crossbones was slowly walking up to him. What if that was him dying and it was just it's in not. there and nobody knew I, it? I don't think Captain America is going to die in Civil War. He better. 
He's gonna I, go coma Shut up. I think I think he might die in Infinity War. I think yeah, I talked about this and I think you like loved my idea because I'm just awesome. No, but I actually had a really reasonable thing. So Marvel sponsor me. I could be like the next the next uh consultant turn uh movie director. So when Thanos blinks, uh, or I'm rather snaps, um, half the population out of existence. What if uh, Captain America doesn't come back? And because it is a Disney movie, I guess technically, um, and that would be kind of crazy to see him just get shot in the head. Because you know, with movies, you have to have blood and stuff. So uh, he would probably there be blood, and it probably kids. It probably might earn an R rating for a gruesome death like that. So what if he gets blinked out of existence? and um, just doesn't come back. He's, like, one of the only superheroes that doesn't come back. Because that could, you know, segue into more movies, too. Like, where where did he go? And eventually they could have, like, you know, obviously somebody else take on Captain America. So, and even, you know, because they, they could reprogram. We saw Winter Soldier how they could reprogram uh, Bucky. So what if they reprogrammed to be, him to be the next Captain America? So that would all just, it would all just fit in together. It wouldn't be a crazy death. Um he could, you know, take out from it. There could be a big mourning, um, and you know, it could make some form of sense because we could have the new Captain America, and it would just work out for everybody. And plus, people would come in to see. Even comic book fans, would, more comic book fans, would be like, "Whoa, we haven't already seen this in the comics, so let's see this new way that's not going to be in the comics." Um, so, I don't know. There's something kind of interesting. They're, yeah. they're not going to kill Captain America off right away, because he's a very yeah. big draw for them. Captain yeah. America is one of the names that is synonymous with Marvel right now, just like Iron Man is. It's like if Robert Downey Jr. decided to stop being Iron Man, they would have a hell of a time trying to recast Robert Downey Jr. So. <laughs> yeah. I was like, when I see Iron Man, or Robert Downey Jr. in any other movie, I'm like, hey, Iron Man, where's your suit? Exactly. So, like, that movie was it The Judge. Why is Iron Man in a courthouse? <laughs> He's a lawyer in that one. He's a lawyer. Yeah. His dad was convicted for murder. Or something like that, and he had to get him off on the charges. Anthony Stark convicted of murder. Shut up. <laughs> Anthony. It's, oh no. Forever in our hearts. How dare you do that? Forever How in our hearts. You? I think... I'll send you a picture, uh, was it, that Danny sent me. I don't know if he sent it to you. And he he sends pretty much everything to me. <laughs> Did he send you the one? Yeah. Oh, well, I, I think I almost sent it to Comic Row. That's okay, though. I don't need to see it. Spoiler alert. You'll Spoiler get there when alert. you get there. You'll get there. He, he turns into, like, this mega ant and, like, flies around and, like, then he flies he around. He your head. And he becomes a superhero. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I, this isn't a spoiler um, at all. Did the scene where they there's that giant ant that just starts running around? Yeah. Next, he runs past the the, the train. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Well, so, uh, how would you guys rate the movie from one to one to ten? One well, to we had a discussion about this earlier. Um, as a movie movie, probably I'd say yeah, probably a nine out of ten. Um, really? As a comic movie, yeah, it's one of the best Marvel movies, you know. So ever, and um, I think you'd probably rate it higher, um, Ran, if you would have seen it on a big screen. Yeah, the effects those, are just beautiful. So the way um, I rated it is as a, from seeing it, I mean, it was probably the stream I seen. I graded it a seven out of ten, but as a movie, as for what it was, I rated it nine out of ten because it's, it was a great movie. It really was. Yeah. yeah. As a comic book adaption, would you guys say it would be better than Guardians of the Galaxy, or, or uh, would it be able to compete with um, uh, Winter Soldier? Compete? No. Yeah. Um, well, maybe they're with two the Guardians of the Galaxy, but yeah, not with Winter Soldier. Well, with In Winter Soldier, opinion. they're two totally different movies, and I think they they couldn't compete. They're both good movies, but I I don't think they could compete against each other for the fact that they're they're different movies and. Um, they contain different things. If it was like Winter Soldier three, then you could compare them. But this is such a different movie that I don't think it's basically it's like comparing apples and oranges, um, but more like comparing apples and red shirts. 
they just <laughs> they can't be compared because I don't know. Do you, do you get what I'm saying, Ren? Does that make any sense? It's, it's hard to compare those two types of movies because they're both good movies, respect you know, like respectfully. Well, you um, well, you really can't compare The Winter Soldier with uh, Ant Man because they're two different genres. But yeah. if, but if you compare Guardians with Ant Man, you have a closer closer thing because or, they're somewhat close to the same. Yeah, or but, like Iron Man and where are we going? Iron Man, no. Justice League and Avengers, they're both team-up movies, but we haven't seen that, so I'm just saying, you know, genres, this is, Winter Soldier was more of like a, a political, it had a lot of political things in it, this was more of a self-redemption story. A political thriller. Political thriller, I was going to use political thriller, but it's not really thrilling. And it was amazing. Yeah, but um, with, this is more of like a self-redemption story, would you agree, uh, Yeah. Ben? A self progression and redemption. So yep. that's interesting. I thought it would be getting like a seven point five rating. So that's what a lot of people. They thought. adapted him very well to the comics. I thought. Mm hmm. From the it comics. Was a good movie. Yeah, it was. It was very good. He did. He did well. I'm just waiting for him to get shot on Hawkeye's arrow. You need to get out of here. <laughs> not no, not killed, but shot like. Jump onto Hawkeye's arrow and oh, get shot. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. You. Yeah, Ant-Man. I thought you were no, talking about cool. Captain America again. No, no, no. I'm just waiting for him to get shot in the head by Cross. Oh, you, you're right. a Captain America fan, aren't you? Yes, that is my yeah, favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah remember, remember there back in like there the second we're comic talk. Buddies now. Wait, what? You were on my side like a couple of times ago. Uh, was it Danny was saying how uh, you should talk to my buddy Rand because uh, he'd chew you out. <laughs> I oh, yeah. love Captain America. Captain America's cool, but he needs to die. They just, is, is it because no. you like Steve Rogers, Captain America, or you just like the character of Captain America? Okay, I love me, the character. Okay, me and you are going to oh. do a sit-down video. Me and you, <laughs> I will record it. We will do an argument on why Captain America should not die. Me and yep. you, this will be an upcoming video. Everybody look for it because right. it's going to happen. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just think half hours long, but it, it needs to happen, and it makes sense to happen. That's like saying Batman should die. Okay, never mind. Batman should die. No, that no, that's a little bit different. Cause there hasn't, there it's it's a, actually a lot different. Because Batman is like, you think DC, you think Batman and Superman. Like, I don't know. People might disagree, but when I think DC, and I'm pretty sure you can ask anybody on the street, like name a superhero, their their first guess, probably ninety percent of the time is going to be Superman. Because or Super Batman, man, Batman, Batman. Sometimes or people Superman. be like Iron Spider Man, but Nobody's really going to be like Cyborg or Wasp. <laughs> Nobody's going to be like uh, Galactus. <laughs> I mean, unless you're talking to like a comic book fan, in which case they could be like Submariner or something like that. No, most people are going to be like uh, Superman. And that's why they go to movies to see Superman in that. Um, nobody's, I mean, they, um, they're going to introduce characters like Cyborg, but if you just, if you were just like Cyborg's going to be a movie coming out, people would be like, what, what who? Maybe people that have seen like Teen Titans on TV or something, but uh, yeah, you know, name or the Submariner. If somebody was just like, "Hey, Submariner is going to be a movie," people are going to be like, "The what?" <laughs> the what? So yeah, but Batman is in everything, right? He's in everything. Batman's, it's in every Batman's been in Marvel comics, like it's annoying. It's like he needs to die, or or he did already. Die. Well, Batman died a couple times, but you can't kill Batman. Bat didn't Bane kill Batman? Uh. I think... Who it's comics. Died? Nobody dies permanently. Yeah, yeah that's true. Down. That's Nobody one of the reasons why... Friggin do you like Steve Rogers? Captain? Yeah. Cause Honestly, Steve Rogers... Or do you want to save that for the video? Let's <laughs> see. Yeah, we'll wait for the video to really get into this, because this is yeah. going to be a very long discussion between you and I. Yeah, it's but... not when I assure you. <laughs> but, uh... But, yeah, you should, uh, you should come on more comic talks, because I think we could... It's, it's good to have four people, because three people, yeah. there can be sides, but we, four we just, people. We need to get a DC guy in here, too, because we're all Marvel here. <laughs> well, yeah, because <laughs> I'll, like I'll, be, I'll, become, I'll, t I'll become the DC guy. Just kidding. <laughs> no, I will become the person that the world needs. Yeah, when me and Danny are in the same thing, magic tends to happen. So. <laughs> Look forward to that in the future comic yeah. talk. Is we'll yeah. If I'll, Danny I'll decides to, to get here, like, next week, <laughs> then 
Yeah. So uh, I think we've we've established that uh, Captain America is dying. He's he's gonna he's gonna How die. How did I know you were gonna say that? He's gonna get shot in the head, <laughs> and that's all right. That's it's gonna be good for 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 business. So yeah. Anyway, I think I, th I think that about covers it for this <laughs> comic yeah. talk. Before so uh, yeah. Happens. Before uh, riots break out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Comic Talk. Um, we covered the announcements in the first part of the video because, much like I predicted, we probably went a little bit over. Um, so, as usual. So, yeah. yeah, that's fine though. That just means we have interesting, interesting topics to cover. So no, we don't. <laughs> Captain don't America dying is not very list, interesting. Though. It's quite sad. Why don't you put together a list then? God. Watch me. I will. Do it. I dare you. So... Oh, just do it. <laughs> just do it. So, uh, so, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's been, what was it, Comic Talk, Episode 5. Um, and, yeah, so... Yeah, it's been for days... Oh, my God, I said for days 13. For days 13 is my other channel. This is an Explaining MCU. Also, go check out my other channel. So, yeah. And I'm Rand Von Snatch, signing off with a... Big middle finger to Mr. Big Red E over there for being a jerk about Captain America. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on both on both of well, our channels. And have fun with it because I hate this guy. According <laughs> to uh, Danny, I'm part of the Nerd Hype extended family, so ha. Ooh. Well, there's a the thing saying family members have to like each other. Oh, oh, ooh. 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 Shots oh. Oh, I was going to buy your shirt, so ooh. <laughs> I'll buy your shirt if you ever get one. I'll buy your shirt. Yes, no. Watch me do it. <laughs> you watch. I'll buy I'll buy 17 of your shirts right now. Do it. I dare you. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Um, Comic World, sign off. Oh, uh, this, is, this has been Comic World with you guys. Hope to see you here next week. You, you didn't say it. Oh, and as always, keep on marveling. <laughs> And believe the hype. And giant big red E. Yes. <laughs> Bye, guys. Too white E. Shut up.